The advice I want to give you guys is to be able to make to, to be able to be successful or to be rich, think more how to make money and think less how to spend it. At the moment, most people all they think about is spend, spend, spend. You see, spend, 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 nothing else. But if you save, 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 and you spend, you have something more. Yeah, then, see? like what you say, money you didn't see is money you don't have. Well, yeah. there, there's a saying I always have that money you don't see, money you don't see is money you don't have. In another word, if you're saving money in a little tin jar and you hide it somewhere, and all you do on your payday, you put money there, and as long as you don't think about it, you don't know you have the money there, and the money will be growing. It doesn't matter, even if it's 100 pesos every month. my channel and today's video is we will talk about <laughs> if my husband have or I mean like if black guy have big because marami yung nagko-comment sa video ko na oh my god uh, nakakatakot malaki yan ganyan so uh, and I explained to my husband a lot of people um, comment about that so my husband tell me that maybe we can do a video about that yeah so ngayon um oh, okay okay <laughs> okay so what you what you can say about that black guy have big you know what, what I mean oh we say D I C K yeah, yeah? I already told you okay now um by the way before we start again I want to say thank you very much for those people the comments you know. It must be a lot of people getting hot in the pants. They say hot, hot, hot. Hot, juice, hot, hot. Oh, stop feeling sexy, horny, whatever, when you see a black guy. Because not all the black guys has. It's not the size. It's how you use it. It's how you use it. Now, if you're very smart, if you know how to use it, then you know what? Like the... Uh, Whose song is it? Just call my name, I will be there. You know, I can't sing. You can tell that I'm shit. I can't sing for crap. So now, what we want to talk about today, you know, just let's cut all the rat, the crap, everything. Well, I cannot, you cannot generalize and say all blacks, all blacks got big dicks. You know what? I'll tell you, Muslim guys have bigger ones, whether they white or black. I don't know why. Muslim? Muslim. Don't you know that? No. Sorry. Okay. But this is saying. No, not that. This is saying, shut up. Yeah? <laughs> this is saying. This is saying that they say when you go black, you will <laughs> always come back. <laughs> yeah, some people comment about that. Once you go black, you they never say, go back. Okay. <laughs> well, we want to talk about it's about ourselves. I don't know about other blacks. Because you see, I don't deal with black guys. I don't, you know, I'm not a female, so I don't, whatever. I just know the tool I have and how I use it. Like I say, I'm very clever with it. Every tool, you know, in life, they say, use the right tool for the right job. Black guys, especially the African, whatever, you know, the black guys, they don't waste their time. Before you know it, they flip it out. They flip let's use the word don't use the dick we say gun i used to use cigar i used to use the word cigar for it just to make it a little bit uh, wrapped up so that in case some young people watching this now so they don't start thinking you know you know start going to a website that they shouldn't go to like you and all that crap you see so now how do you feel when you first met me what did you think um about okay everything else? yeah before when I'm in Philippines, yeah, even in my workmate, we talk about like people, uh, black people have big dick, but of course, just only our thinking or saying. Really? Yeah, I don't know why. Maybe because it look 
look tall. Look, because they look big. Yeah, you look big. You look. You, they look like uh, you know. Mm, mm, mm. So they think. So. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Like, like like a horse, you know, like uh, <laughs> like very aggressive. Mm, 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 mm. You see? Yeah. <laughs> now she's talking. Yeah. Yeah. Continue. So that's the one I'm thinking before when I'm in Philippines, but. You know what I find out? It's not really, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You can I, tell them. You I, can I, tell them the measurements if you like. I don't intend to measure anything. I don't measure anything. You see, I just use it. Yeah, mm -hmm. you like it. You can see when she's happy. You can see when her face is so bright. Whatever it means. Hey, holy shit, she's dead me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, let's just go straight to the point. You know what? It doesn't matter. You know, I don't believe that. It's a myth. A myth is what we say believes. That usually they say uh, black people because there are some people in uh, the comments, they say black people are aggressive, uh, black people, yes, um, they, they pushy, uh, black people. It's no, no, no. Arrogance. No, arrogance. Say no. That. Mm. Arrogancy, arrogancy comes from when you have a lot of confidence. It doesn't mean you are arrogant. Yeah, you my might husband be full of confidence. I'm full of confidence. Yeah. So that comes across as arrogancy. But I'm the kindest, the most supportive, the most caring, the most um, what you call um, uh, uh, forthright thinking. Um, I'm always, you know, thoughtful. I use the word thoughtful. You know, like some of the things that she eats, she doesn't even know before I buy the things. You know, she doesn't even know they're home. You know, because I know what she wants. You know, it doesn't. That hasn't got anything to do with blackness. It just have everything to do with my attitude, my way of bringing, and how I think. Uh, being care, you know, caring. That's why I'm doing the job I'm doing. Being caring, you know, because when you caring person, then you'll be thoughtful. You'll be there. You know, you always think about them, about what makes them happy and supportive. And that's why we're here. You see, this relationship is not like uh, you know Cinderella meet uh, you know the princess, whatever. Yes. Not all that bushy. It hasn't been easy. We still fight sometimes, you know. We still fight, you know. Yes. You see, because we, in our holiday in Philippines, we even fight there. But after that, we just okay. What else would you say with your experience with me about black people um, and the people you've known? You know, like you've seen around, you know, whatever, whatever. I mean, I used to own a nightclub, by the way, and most of the people, eighty percent of the people that came to the nightclub when she yeah. first arrived here, they were black. Ah, so, yeah, okay. so general, you know, general attitude. General attitude about black about black people. people. Um, okay, because I experienced that on his bar. Because before before I came here in this country, he still owned a bar. I used to own the yeah, nightclub. Yeah, I think for three or four months, I worked with him in the bar. I'm I'm the one in. Uh, at the no, door collecting I'm, money. Yeah, I'm the one collecting money because they need to pay. They need to pay Cover, entrance. No, entrance. Entrance okay. like that. Okay, let's talk about what blacks are like. Okay, they like dressing. Oh, they like dancing. Yeah, they, they like, like they like shaking their ass. That's what we call tweeting. Tw you know, when they you know they like shake now. Shake their breasts, shake their. Now you know the black girls. They brought big ass. In fashion, big ass, you know, like Nicki Minaj, when the ass fell down, you know, or they say, you know, I don't know what's inside that thing, you know, it's like breast, <laughs> breast implant. Sometimes you can just fall up, you know, your chest, you know, yeah, we see those type of things. So they like doing all those things. That's why I set up the nightclub because you know the blacks like coming. That was my thing. They like dancing, they like shaking, they like having fun, you know. So. That's why I like it. So when you talk about, you know, we're talking about black guys, by the way, we're not talking blacks generally. But yeah. if you talk about blacks generally, you know, um, let's say the black guys. Okay, let's me. Let's say me because you don't. Do you know how many black guys? I don't know. Probably another one person. I don't know. Uh, so we're not the same. So they are all not the same. We all have different attitude. Different. Some people are mild. So some black guys who are very laid back. You know, than me. I'm not a laid back person, but I could be laid back if I wanted to. But I am I like driving the thing all the time. I like to be in front because I was born yeah. a leader. You see, I'm yeah, a Torian. He's like that. I remember when I went to Davao, I'll give you an, an example. A friend that I went to meet there never met someone who is so forward, you know? I was 
like sitting down, you know, this Filipina, she's talking for me and I couldn't believe it that someone, because that's my probably first time or so that I've ever been with anybody that actually speak for me and fought for me. I've always fought for everybody else. So that's a different thing. So there are some Filipinas who are submissive. There are some Filipinas who are aggressive. There are some Filipinas who are in front. They come overseas and they change the life of the foreigner. You see, so it doesn't matter whether you're black or white, you know. Um, I know some people, you know, that they come here, life has never been better for the foreigner, for the foreign guys, you know. So we've seen all that. So they're different kind of people. Of course, with my attitude, my wife always said, the reason why she's laid back is because one, that's her attitude normally. Secondly, because of who I am, because I want to do everything. And, you know, I like to do it, you know, I do everything, everything. So that's another thing. In the Western country, we don't have time everything has a pace that's why they say you know time is money when we mean time is money it means time is valuable you see we only have 24 hours a day and you can never turn the clock back so time keep going then they not start keep ticking 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 you see so but in philippines you got plenty of time or so you know the west the the the, the, third, uh, the third world countries like africa they've got all the time in the world you see time they don't care about time that's why people are behind because you start chasing time you know you start chasing time so we're still talking about black by the way yeah. and the black guy i'm not sure i cannot say that if it's true if <laughs> black guy have big you know what i mean uh, i'm not sure because i didn't try like you know i'm not a lot of experience so maybe maybe yeah <laughs> There are some girls. I, I don't know. I don't know. There are some people, some viewers, some viewers actually, and they said certain thing that you know, with that big thing, don't you think it's gonna tear the the puss? Um, yeah. You know? Oh my God! The comment is like, oh, oh, I and he said, I feel sorry for you because you with the black guy, you will have a, you know, big. You might just tear your hey. What? <laughs> Stop. I'm still here, still. Don't worry. Still there are doctors; they can stitch it. If any accident happen, <laughs> it could be stitched back. No, you see? yeah, it's not. It's not. You know, that's only saying. You don't ask me. You should be telling them because I. I, don't, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say if it's true okay, or not. So but I think that's only our saying or people saying about black people okay. because wait because in even I think even white people think about that too. Because I remember in our work, they talk like, Oh, your husband is black. They have big like this. So maybe not only Filipino, maybe around the world. That's why mostly white girls like black. Is it? Yeah, I no. found that. <laughs> no, another reason, another reason. No, no, no. The main reason white girls like black is like, you know, is because they look at it that when you have kids together, uh, yeah, what they will yeah. look like. That they will look nice and that they will look yeah, uh, mixed, cool, yeah, mixed race. White and black. It's the same. A lot of Filipinas thinking if they marry a white guy, and their kid you know. will look whatever, it will look uh, more beautiful, whatever. Yeah. But hey, I would say a lot of, I see a lot of Filipinos marry each other and their kids still look the same. But the difference. That's, that's, that's our mentality, yeah. you know, in Philippines. If you marry to foreigner, especially white people, they think if you have kids, they're very pretty because in our country that's like they're pretty for them okay that's but the one, one advantage is of marrying foreigners is and have a baby is they will increase in height they will be taller yeah taller. because most and children they like their nose pointed nose well black too. black don't have pointed nose i'm sorry we have black no, we have flat nose it's like the hamite you know yeah, okay yeah. black always have this Black nose. Like Filipina. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's like Filipina to say. Filipina have black, black, uh, also black, black, mm -hmm. flat nose, flat and nose. big mouth. Okay. Uh, no, really? No, no, really? no, 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 not, not Filipina. I mean, mostly Filipina have flat nose. Yeah, continue. Yeah, but I think black guy mostly have big lips. So probably they might be asking you that you have big lips. Do I like the big lips? What do you use it for? Yeah. No, I born with big lips. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you born with <laughs> big lips. Okay, I'm thank born you. Born with that. Okay, so she's born with the big lips. Yes. 
So, so anything else you got to say about uh, about black people? Because you don't know, you can't talk about black people because you only, you know, and me, you know. So she can only talk about me, you know. Yeah. If, you know, yeah, if it's yeah. big, black, or if it's mostly strong. black people too is. Taller. Taller? Yeah. Taller. Now, uh, West Africans usually stocky, you know. Yeah, like it being... depends where where country you're from, yeah? Yes. It it's depends. South Africa. Uh don't let us do all this, you know. Let us just stay where we are, blacks, yeah, okay. you know. Whether American black or whatever, you know, the yeah. same, you know, the same black. We all yeah. we know is black. Yeah, that's the one some people said black people is aggressive, arrogant, um, abusive um, what else um, brave um, and anyway uh, and mostly it is and number one they think is they have big you know what I mean so I, I always she, you uh, still go back to this yeah. big thing you know I mean she must be excited about this big thing she must like it you know <laughs> <laughs> do you like it? You know, because you talk about <laughs> it all the time. <laughs> you know, <laughs> all the time she can't stop touching me. You know, she like touching me. So I'm saying, hey, give me a break. I need some space here. You know. Wait, you know? angulo gulo na, angulo gulo na namin. Kanya kanya ng kwento. <laughs> so what? What you, you want to say something? So what are you to, talking about now? No, I said be talking like. Go back, go back. It's like Wait, repeat, 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 repeat. We're not repeating anything. It's the same thing we're talking about. Yeah, it's the yeah. same issue we are on. So there's no repeat. Okay. Eh? It's not like a like a scratch CD. No, 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 I mean, you don't talk. You don't have to say everything. You know, keep secret. They say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. What's happened here? What happens here stays here. You see, some of the things don't go out. They stay indoor. You know, indoor. Like whatever and like that. You know. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. And if you guys have any other comment, anything concerned, there are more things to come up. We're gonna be talking about other things. You know. Look, yeah. one of these. The, the main something that I want to actually talk about is do you really need to be with a foreigner and how to look for the right foreigner whether it's a Korean, whether it's a Australian, whether it's American, whether Any it's foreign, English, yeah. whether you're European generally I can give you advice because there are some of the comments some people say look I've tried, I've tried, I've yeah, tried I read that in I'm comments. not getting anyway people try, try because um, we met in Filipino Cupid we have video about that so panoorin you guys who hindi nyo pa and a lot of people asking me like why why we we still not found the right guy for okay for them. she's not the right person to be answering that i will tell you because i know how to sort the bad eggs from the rotten ones you know the rotten ones the good ones from the rotten ones and the bad ones you yeah. know the bad eggs. my experience in filipino people it's really really hard to look for a right guy so you need to be patient and of course be open to each other when you I will give you guys the right advice. The next subject is all about that. I will tell you and listen carefully. You will gain. And when you try it, you let us know if it actually works for you. I will tell you the, the, the recipe for that. You know, the trick about that. The right questions to be asking. Don't just fall in love. It's bullshit. If anybody tells you that love is blind, it's crap. No, it's not blind. It's open eyes. Because there's a lot of losers out there, foreigners. Yes who always look for Filipinos because they bored bored to their little brains they can't do nothing for you they know that yeah. they lose us a you know a lot of people are talking Filipino Cupid but this guy here they pull off action I'm an action yeah. man they it's say not, uh, uh, people bashing me maybe that's why I'm a foreigner that's why I will I'm with my husband because of his money not really I I have I have dream to marry a foreigner, but it's not about their money. I like to go to to other country and at the same time to find my love. I, I don't mind or oh, any foreigner I am. To give you guys is to be able to make to, to be able to be successful or to be rich. Think more how to make money, and think less how to spend it. At the moment, most people 
all they think about is Spain, Spain, Spain. You see, Spain, 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 nothing else. But if you save, 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 and you spend, you have something more. Yeah, then, see? like what you said, money you didn't see is money you don't have. Well, she can't explain that. That's another topic. When I, you know, there's my saying says, you know, I say there, there, there's a saying I always have that money you don't see, money you don't see is money you don't have. In another word, if you saving money in a little thing jar and you hide it somewhere, and all you do on your payday you put money there, and as long as you don't think about it, you don't know you have the money there, and the money will be growing. It doesn't matter, even if it's hundred pesos every month. Say every month. That's what 1200 yeah okay 1200 okay every month you can put 500 pesos no matter how little it is even if it's 100 pesos or 500 pesos every month you save it every month you know uh, at the uh, end of the year yeah okay at the end of the year that's about I don't know, six, um, sorry, five, uh, yeah, six thousand, six thousand pesos. Five hundred. That's right. You see, five, you know, so that's six thousand. Maybe one hundred. Okay, so let's, you know, so that is, you know, six thousand pesos at the end of the year. So this, that's how you start. You have to start somewhere. Don't think you need to. So we'll talk about that when we deal with. Uh, yeah. Do you really need to be? You don't have to. You don't need a foreigner. To, 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 to better your life. You don't need a foreigner because sometimes there are some people who are married to foreigners or come, they they're suffering. Yeah. They worse off than worse, in Philippines. Worse than in Philippines. They're That's suffering right. here or they died. That's right. So, so you don't need, so, uh, but for those people who have a dream and say, oh, I want to meet a foreigner, I'll tell you guys, I'll give you advice how to get the right foreigner. Next one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So again, guys, don't worry about me na Ganito ba yung ano na asawa ko, tinitreto ba ako nito nang tama? Syempre kung hindi naman niya ako tinitret, tinitreto, tinitrato na tama, wala akong ngayon dito. So, we married now for 4 years. So, I'm very happy. We we fight, we but I'm still in love and happy with him. Oh, she just told me she loved me. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, yeah, she loved me. <laughs> yeah. She not just the money because no money no money. Yeah, yeah. You don't have money. Yeah, yeah. So no why? money. Why? No, no money. I, I love his money. Yeah. Where's the money? Excuse no me. money. No honey. Yeah. No money. No honey. Yeah. No so, money. So no honey. I must have money. That's where the honey is. Yeah. That's the honey. Yeah. You <laughs> see, she's telling bullshit. No, no so, money. So, ayan honey. guys, ang bibiro alang kami guys. So, ayan at least na ano na namin na hindi ko talaga din masasagot kung ano ba talaga in black black people have like this. So hindi ko masasagot yan kasi hindi ko alam. <laughs> so ayan guys. So thank you for watching and so I will tell you guys, you know, so. That myth of black guys got big day, you know, it's not always right. Yes, yes. It's not. Me. So just this it's just a laugh. Let's make a joke about it. That's fine, you know, I'm cool with it, you know. Yeah. I can handle that. You know, just throw the shit on me because I'm black, it wouldn't even show my colour. You know, you can see that. Yeah. Thank you very much so for I watching. Guess, yeah. Don't bash please do not bash my wife. Because and especially don't bash my husband. No. If you bash my husband, you bash him. I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> she told you. you know, <laughs> so, you know. I guys, thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button para updated kayo kada may, may bago akong video. So, bye guys. Bye-bye.